Okay, now that we've done some examples, you guys already know everything you need to know. We just have to keep practicing these. So I want you to look on page 495 at the top. I want you to now try two, three, and four. Try two, three, and four. Well, you're waiting on me to get there. Just two, three, and four right now. Yep. Just wait. If you got them, just sit tight. <coughs> Tyson, what did you come up with for number two? Okay. Why did you put parentheses? around 15 divided by 3 because it says do this then do that good job Waylon number 3 subtract 4 from 20 then divide by 2 hold on what's divide by mean I think that's a divide by sign you can't read your own writing <laughs> divided by 2 okay Myla next one Okay. And then times two. Times two. And again, that word then means we have something that we have to do first. Our parentheses say do this first. Okay, at the bottom, it's just getting us to compare expressions um, on five and six. So it says compare each pair of numerical expressions without evaluating, which means we're not finding an answer. We're just looking at it. Both expressions contain the same multiplication expression. Write the multiplication expression. What do they both have, Cam? Seven times four. Good job. <laughs> In expression one, the product is divided by what, Arabella? Two. Okay, so they're the same, but then we divided this one by two. So expression one is blank as large as expression two. How does expression one compare to expression two? Dylan? Um, it's, um, it's blank as large as expression two. Okay, yeah, I agree it's two times smaller, but this says blank as large. So he's saying expression two is twice as large. He just said it backwards to try and make it fit expression one. How would we say that using just one word? Blank as large. This one's tricky. Madison? That's true, but that's not what it wants. It wants specifically how much not as large. Waylon? It's not double because it's actually smaller. Rory? It's, um, um, one, two times. Nope. Noel? Half. half. <coughs> if the other one's double it, that means this one is half as big as the other. So it's half as large. That's just a weird one that our brains aren't used to comprehending. You knew what it was and how they were compared. You're just not used to comparing using fractions. It's half as big as the other one. If we did the math, this one is 14. This one is 28. Is 14 half of 28? Yes. Okay, number six. Both expressions contain the same addition expression. Write the expression. Caleb, what is it? 2 plus 5 plus 8. In expression 2, the addition expression is multiplied by what, Drake? Four. By 4. 
So expression two is blank times as large as one. Colby? Is four, is four times as large. That one makes more sense in our brain. If we're dividing, then that means the other one is like one third times as much or one half times as large or one seventh times as large. But those don't pop up too often yet. Go ahead and turn the page. Okay, Robin wants to find the area of the triangle shown. To find the area of a triangle, multiply the base times the height and then divide by two. Let's underline all of those words because that's telling us what to do. Multiply the base times the height, then divide by two. The base and the height of the triangle are shown represent the area of a triangle with a numerical expression, which means you're giving an answer <coughs> as a math sentence. You're not finding that like the area is 30 square feet or 30 square yards. Callie, how am I going to start? Four times three. Okay, why are we starting with four times three? Because the base is four and the height is three. Okay, because the base is four and the height is three, and it says multiply the base times the height. And then tells me I need to do what, Cam? If it says and then, what does that tell me I need to do? Add in some parentheses. Myla? And divide by two. So we are translating words to numerical expressions. Number eight, Deidre doubled her savings account balance of $100. Then she withdrew $30 to buy some new clothes. How can I show that I'm doubling my savings account balance of 100? Brennan? Um, write 100 in parentheses. Then after that, you minus 30? No, you forgot to double my balance. Brennan? Or sorry, Dylan? Yeah, because we have to double it first. We're doubling it, which means multiply it by two. And now withdraw means put in or take out? Take out. Take out how much? 30. 30. Okay, and these problems, I could do 800 examples with you, and then you could potentially still see one that's a little bit different. Okay, the key to doing well on these is reading carefully. Okay, so slow down. Okay, your homework tonight is page the my homework page. So page 497 and 498. 497, 498. Okay? You guys can go ahead and get started. You only have five minutes, but you can probably get several done.